Good morning and welcome to the free market live show. It is Friday, October 11th. We made it to a Friday. How is everybody this morning? And let's see how the uh, heat map is opening up. Microsoft is up 0.04%. You might as well call it flat. Apple's down 0.10%. Google and Meta call them flat. Amazon call it flat. Tesla is down 6% after it's uh robo taxi event last night in the video you might as well call that flat 0.04 percent up so uh it is really kind of just flat this morning i would say not a whole lot going on there wasn't a whole lot on the scanners as well luxh that jumped up a little bit this morning nothing too crazy i mean it had dipped down so it wasn't anything that uh we wouldn't have cared about because we had it as it was moving up the other day and uh yeah it's not a whole lot happening so let's cruise through and see what our jolies jumpers are up to all information presented here is for educational and informational purposes only it's not intended as financial advice so always do your due diligence good morning everybody how are you i hope everybody has a great friday let's check out our jolies jumpers here let me hop on there and get to them bad boys real quick here we go. Let me see. Here they are. They are AKAN. I know we looked at that last night. AKAN. Or the other day. One of the days I remember. Um, AKAN. That is moving this morning. That's for sure. That did jump up there. And uh, what did it open at? 125. Got up to 144. It's a low as 116. It's sitting back at 118. So lower than it opened. And uh, I think that one might... uh. I've had it had its run this morning already. And again, it's 7 a.m. So now you see why I keep saying if you want to be trading these penny stocks, you have to be on this web bull early because it already ran up and it came down lower than what it opened at. I mean, it's pretty bizarre. ALLK, let's look at that one and see what that's doing this morning because that looks like it is moving. Oh, that was yesterday. Um let me see if it says anything on here. It was moving yesterday. AALK. Um, no, it does not say anything on the web bowl. So I would have to say that it's sitting at 72 cents, but it doesn't look bad after yesterday's move up. And it's just not doing anything quite yet. BLMZ. That's at Bloom's. We looked at that the other day and then it popped. Um, let's see if it wants to continue up. Let's see what it's doing today. BLMZ. It is trying to run up a little higher. Yesterday it got up to that 155. And today it opened at 131, got up to 138. So keep an eye. I don't know if it's going to really run up higher than it's uh, high the other day. We have to keep an eye. I guess if it's uh, cruising up, then you know it's going to, but I don't think it will. Not possibly today. Maybe it'll try to set up for next week again. We'll keep an eye on that BLMZ. BLNK, that's our Blink charging company. Let's see if they're doing anything this morning, but this one's been running up a little bit like we thought. And yesterday... It was open at 197, got up to 199. It's low as 185. It's sitting at 188. So it's just sitting at that resistance and should try to jump back up onto that 50 pretty soon and um, and then give over that $2 and get rolling again. So that is BLNK, the Blink Charging Company. And let's look at BSFC. You see what that's doing this morning. That's a Blue Star Foods Corp. B s f c actually it's uh it ran up already to it opened at 64 i got the 69 now it's low as 50 and it's back at 50 so it is pulling back um did run up this morning though right there and that's b s f c b y u i know we looked at this last night and this one took a huge hit uh b y u and I know we're going to keep an eye on this bad boy. Let's see what it did this morning. It's opened up at, let's see, 46 cents. It got up to 47, and that's where it's at. So it went up a penny. But uh, like I said, it's it, it's going to bounce around. Yesterday could have been the bottom for it. Um, doesn't appear that it wants to get into the basement. It looks like it's going to stay above. But uh, 
like I said, I'm still going to wait to see exactly when it's ready. I'm not sure it's exactly ready, but I'll look at it as it opens today, BYU, because we'll keep an eye on that. How about that CETX was up this morning? Um, Let's keep an eye for this bounce to start happening. And again, it was just pulling back, pulling back, pulling back so hard that uh, you didn't want to get caught in it. What the hell is this ad? Um, CETX. Um... Here we go. Let's see if it, um, why do I even hop on there? Uh, here we go. CETX. Yeah, it's just starting to try to curl. So like I said, I think next week will be better. It did jump up this morning. So I said to look at it and see if it was trying to bounce and just play these bounces. So it did jump up a little bit this morning. It opened at 57, got up to 73. So it ran up, but it's already back down to 54. So it's under what it uh opened up so that's why i'm saying it's going to bounce around exactly what it did and um and that's why i don't know if you you have to be careful that's why i told the web bowlers at 4 a.m and i said i would look at it and that's exactly why i said that because look what it did so uh there you go and that's why i say that sometimes now um the web bowlers definitely uh have the advantage and my account is approved so all i gotta do is just uh transfer some money real quick into it today and i am good to go for next week on web bull so there you go with that so if you're not uh signed up i'll post the link again i'm sure laptop travel will or i'll go back and find it and repost it again but you get some free uh fractional shares depending on how much you uh deposit so here we go with grts with another one we checked out last night let's see what it's doing this morning here come on there it is uh opened at six and came back down to five so another one that took a nice big dip and we're just taking a look at uh john wong i believe said that they were uh they were um Go, gonna uh, be going through bankruptcy filing for bankruptcy chapter 11 i believe this was the one he said that last night about so uh we'll keep an eye on that for that bankruptcy bounce mlgo this one is it was moving a little bit it's been jumping around let's see i think it was moving up 30 open at 34 it's up to 35 it got up to 36 right now uh got up to 36 it's at 35 right now so it is trying to move up a little bit here and and doesn't look bad so we'll keep an eye on that we already knew about mlgo nivf this one was running around this morning and uh we've looked at this one before NIVF, it was on our uh, laptop lowdowns. I know that NIVF, and it ran up yesterday. Um, fifty eight cents. It opened that and it got up to one eighteen. And today it opened at a dollar and got up to a dollar fourteen. It's at a dollar three right now. So yeah, that one did run up. And that is a, a Taiwan health information. And we looked at that, like I said, a couple of weeks ago. Was it it might even been on our list now? I don't really remember because there's so many from that we've done recently or in the last three to four weeks. So uh, but there you go. NIVF, that's moving this morning. How about Rivian? That's gonna be set up. It's down, it looks like 10 cents. But I'm telling you, this thing's going to set up and uh, get moving. It's getting closer to that line right now. And our 20 is coming down. It's at 1113, but our hard line's coming down. So we're just going to watch it set up. Maybe it's going to ride that bottom for a little bit, which is perfectly fine. We'll catch it when it's set up and it's rolling. So that's Rivian um, SRFM. That's Surf Air Mobility. It looks like it was running up yesterday, and it looks like it's trying to move this morning. It is. It, uh, yesterday uh, went from 250 to 359. This morning it opened at 315 and got up to 318, but now it's at three. Yeah, it's at 316, so it's still up there, and uh, it's trying to hold itself. So keep an eye on that if it can get moving again, SRFM. And uh, that could be a mover. And TURB we looked at. Let's see, three forty eight. Remember, laptop travel said six dollars. It's getting closer. It's up forty five cents right there. So TURB. It did run up this morning. Like I said, it opened at three forty nine. Got up to three fifty four. It's sitting at three forty two. So it is uh 
This one says 348. Mine says 342. It somewhere is around there, I'm sure. Uh, not exactly sure which one it is. Let me look. Oh, yeah, let me look on WebBull. That's why we have it here. T-U-R-B. Here we go. And of course, it gives me something totally different. Uh, T-U-R-B. All right, let me click on that. Three. It's at 360 is what it says. Uh, mine is right 360. So Finviz is wrong at 348. And WebBull is saying 360 right now. There you go. So, uh, so mine is accurate and it is moving up. So watch that for a momentum play. And that is TURB. And let's also look at these guys right here. JTAI, that's one that we obviously were looking at two days ago, right before it popped up yesterday. And let's see what it's doing this morning, JTAI. I think it's still moving up a little bit. And uh, we we were definitely looking at this bad boy. I had added it back to the list. It ran up yesterday from 11 cents to 25. And this morning it opened at 9 to 13. It's sitting at, at 10 right now. And not really looking too bad still, just sitting on that 20. So keep your eye on that JTAI. That's Jet AI and LUXH. We uh, talked about this one first thing when I uh, um, opened it up. It was up a little bit, but it had pulled back the last few days, and we had already hit that pop, uh, that run up the other day. So L-U-X-H, but let's see if it wants to continue. Uh, we kind of took our eye off of it because it was dipping down, but it is hit, curling up pretty hard. I'm not so sure it's going to get through right there. So I would watch that today. I'd be careful with that one. But it did jump up this morning. And Zena, Z-E-N-A, looks like that ran up $1.48. That's a new one, though. And uh, let me just say a Z-E-N-A. Yeah, that's a new. I probably wouldn't even have really been looking at that bad boy. But it did jump up. And you can look at it as a little momentum play. Maybe it'll keep running. It opened at 321 and it gapped up because yesterday it closed at uh, 177. So what a gap up right there. And uh, its high was 339. It's sitting at 325. So you keep an eye if it wants to keep running with momentum. And there is our Joe Lee's jumpers. Thank you very much, Asian Joe Lee. Greatly appreciate that. Let me know if anyone else wants to see anything. Let's look at MAXN real quick. Then I'll roll through and see what else is going on this morning. MAXN. Here we go. It's up 11 cents. And it's just riding that bottom right there. Let me see what my chart looks like there. Um, all right. It, it appears that it's going to try to stay over the MACD and maybe try to roll off of it. It's uh, not getting into the basement at the moment. So we're going to keep an eye on it. Maybe yesterday was its bottom right there at that uh, 520. It's at 535. So we'll keep an eye on it if it's uh, if it's. If it wants to try to curl up, but it does look like it wants to roll off, but it's a Friday, so be careful holding it over the weekend, what I'm thinking. Because you just never know on this bad boy, but uh, keep an eye on it. And as if, obviously, if it's trying to curl up, you're going to catch a little bounce off of it. We were talking about that. So, uh, yeah, MAXN, everybody keep an eye on that one for a little bounce. It is up 11 cents, 2%, so nothing real crazy. And uh, and like I said, it opened at 536. And uh, actually, it's not even moving. It just opened at 536, it looks like. Let me pop it in here and see what uh, WebBull says. Pre-market, 535. So it is up 12 cents. So, yeah, it is up. Um. So, okay, it is up, and uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, keep an eye on it, because like I said, if it can curl up off of there, I'll watch it. I mean, it's not exactly saying that it wants to on either chart. It's kind of just hitting that line and uh, had a little bounce up, and again, 2%, nothing too crazy, because now it reverse split, and it's in the five, so 11 cents isn't as uh, drastic as it was when it was a penny stock. And um, it's still a pretty low one, but at $5, it's uh, it's obviously not at like 11 cents so, or 30 cents. So that's uh, maxing, and I'll keep an eye on it. But like I said, if it can keep momentum, seems to be just sitting there right now, uh, not really moving. So obviously, if it starts pouring in volume uh, as it gets opening, 
um, and starts moving. You're going to have a little momentum play this morning. But like I said, beware holding that overnight or over to Friday because uh, you never know. And how about DJT getting over that $25, guys? Um, there you go. What did I say? 13 to or 11 to 25 for you is boom. I mean, who gives them out to people for free? Uh, I see so many paid services aren't doing exactly what we do. And uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, just now that one completely and uh, it should continue up. I told you guys what was going on and uh, it's going to run up in the top, pull back a little bit and then just keep going. So that's your DJT. Um, not so sure you want to be chasing it right around here because it could pull back a little bit. I mean, like I said, if it get it's getting into the top, so uh, it it just a matter as if it wants to really run up there, and I think it I honestly wants to the way it's sitting on that support line now, made the resistance at support, and uh, looks really good. So it's cruising this morning. It's at what twenty five seventy, and. Uh, yeah, there you go. DJT moving right along, like I was saying. And um, let's look at our Yang real quick, because we know we want to look at that. That is up 18 cents, it says. And I'm telling you guys, I, I told you so I got options on it. Um, <laughs> I wasn't lying. So uh, yeah, they're going to be printing really soon. So uh, keep an eye on this bad boy, because we're about to see it move. And uh, the Yin... Excuse me. Uh, the yen did cross down. It's at it's down two thirty nine to thirty seven, and doing exactly what we thought it was going to do. And uh, the twenties at thirty five, and I don't even think that's going to help it. I think this is going to cross through to Yang and get cruising. The yen's coming down. Maybe they reverse back around and um. Uh, next week at some point but these things are going to completely move so uh you can see the yin coming down and the yang is going up like we said the yang should cross through and get cruising and probably try to run up into the fives uh real cool. i'm sure it's going to hit that 20 at 490 area and uh and then get and try to bust through that and then you'll see it try to curl up because it's coming down for it you'll see that try to curl up on it and uh and try to run so that's the yang and then like i said the yin this thing should crush right through to 20 coming down and come back down to the 50 which is like in your 26 hour area and come back down to that bottom and have to set up so you're gonna see uh some drastic moves it looks like but like i said the yang should be going up for us and there you go with that bad boy um grts we looked at this morning i said i'd look at it this morning and it is down some more so we'll keep an eye on that and gpus i know i said i'd look at that one for stonky stonks let me just take a quick look and see if it's doing anything it's got yesterday's date and just a hard look still so i wanted it to do something this morning so i could tell um and it does it has that like pullback look but kind of wants to go up so gpus not really telling me anything still this morning and uh so there you go with them bad boys the market is literally as flat as you could look i mean microsoft is up 0.01 percent apple is zero percent google up 0.05 or no that's down google is down. you can't even tell because it's uh you, you can't see the colors um they're flat it's down 0.05%. Meta is up 0.21%. Amazon's up 0.08%. Tesla's down six. You can see that clear as day. And NVIDIA is up 0.04%. So besides NVIDIA, um, or besides Tesla, they're all just basically flat right now. Let's just take a quick look at them. We'll look at the SPY. That's down 15 cents. Not really doing a whole lot today. Just sitting on that line. And like I said... Even if it pulls back, it's coming down to like the 572 area and it is setting up so bullish it doesn't even matter. So keep your eyes on the uh, good old spy because it's going to get wild. Apple down four cents, just sitting flat like we were talking about and just setting up super bullish. Google 
just down eight cents, not doing anything really, just sitting flat. I think Google has a little pullback in it, though. So we knew it was running up. I'd let it pull back at the moment, and it's setting up to be bullish down the road. Good old Amazon was up 17%, hitting the 20, starting to curl up. So this one's going to actually get moving um, for next week. Meta up at dollar twenty two. It came out of the basement. It's just trying to parachute its way down so it didn't crush through the MACD, but it's hitting it right now. I'd expect it to come down and go through it and uh pull back a little bit and it needs to. That's Meta and Microsoft MSFT. That's up twenty two cents. Now Microsoft should get moving. It's sitting in the right spot where it should try to get moving. Um it had some pullback right there. And that bottom was probably uh four, what is it, 408 yesterday? Or no, not yesterday, on the 8th, I'm sorry. Uh, 40817, it's at 416. So that was probably going to be its low as it's starting to curl up now. So just keep your eye on Microsoft, and uh, that one will start running probably pretty soon. So Microsoft might be the one that tries to get running here. That and what I say, uh, Amazon was curling up as well. Yeah, Amazon. So Microsoft and Amazon are the two that are really curling up. And let's look at our Tesla after our uh, our robo taxi. What did you guys think of that thing? Because now it's down 1527. Nice big dip after that. Let it come back to uh, 215. And uh, and then it'll be really nice. So there's Tesla dipping down pretty hard. Good pullback after the robo taxi. I guess it was in uh, the Tesla cyber taxis finally here with a thirty thousand dollar price tag. And uh, let me know what you guys thought about that bad boy. But clearly, I guess it wasn't well perceived. I'm not exactly sure because it's down quite a bit, but it needed to pull back anyway. So. There was the event to make it happen, and uh, like I said, I, I don't trust any of that automatic driving stuff, and uh, and then to have a, a robot next to you, I guess that would be pretty cool, but uh, that's in the future, I guess, so we'll look at them, but it is pretty cool. Uh, Elon's always doing something interesting, that's for sure. Let's take a quick look at our crypto and see what's going on in the crypto world see if it's trying to move it's up uh it's not up uh bitcoin's still at sixty thousand six hundred, and i don't even know i've never seen him jump around like this before the thing looks like it's uh like a gas right like when you're getting your gas <laughs> the price is going up that was crazy i've never seen him do that on this app all right now it's stopped uh, sixty thousand six hundred and thirty two we'll say it's right there um, somewhere is close. It is just jumping around like crazy. I don't know what's going on, but uh, it kind of looks like it might be a bottom right there. So we'll have to take a look. Maybe it is going to try to start bouncing back up. Uh, that would be really nice. Ethereum's at two thousand four hundred and thirteen, and that one is looks like it's trying to go up a little bit there. So we'll have to see on a Friday going into the weekend. They don't always get ripping, but let's look at Ripple and uh, see what that's doing. It's making a base down here still, and um, doesn't really. It's trying to curl up, but it still has a little time. Solana's at one forty-one, and this thing's jump. I'm telling you, that I don't know what's going on with this app this morning, but it, they're jumping around like crazy. Um, Solana looks like it, it's under the fifty. It's trying to move back up, but I'm not so sure it's ready to. So. Uh, I'm not so sure crypto is exactly ready to uh, get moving there. I'll have to see as it moves along today and gets a, a little bit moving into the lines and stuff to be able to tell. But uh, it's just kind of holding itself up so it didn't really like crash down and they're forming bases. And uh, so I'll keep my eye and keep you posted on that. And uh, let's see what's going on in the scanner real quick if anything uh l-u-x-h j-t-a-i i mean it's not a lot everything we already looked at i can see that the yang i'm telling you just keep your eye on that bad boy because that one's a good one um djt is up to 26 dollars there you go guys how about that for you um boom i would say i uh just 
doubled that one from 11 to 26 for you. So between 11 and 13, we liked it. And now it's at 26. So there you go with DJT. And uh, let's see what else is not a whole lot, like I said, going on there. Let me see if I can find the um, – here's our – laptop lowdowns real quick 80 tx let me cruise through these bad boys real fast because there's usually some good ones 80 tx is trying to move is that today's date um it's actually just sitting there on mine uh for today but not looking bad at all 80 tx so keep your eye on that one that recently split oh yeah that's a recent splitter so i'm gonna look at that maybe that's trying to start to move finally so we're gonna look at that um they, they seem to do two different things when they split right now. They either dip hard or they just kind of uh, start forming that base and cruising up. Not many of them are just popping off at the moment. They kind of stopped doing that and doing these last two things in the last week or so. So we're keeping an eye. Here's another splitter. That's right. Uh, Laptop Travel sent us out that whole split list, too, and we never went through it. I'll pull that up as well. But this one's doing the old pullback. It's split and pulling back here is what it looks like. Let me look on mine. A-L-C-E. Um, yeah, this one's split and is pulling back. So we'll keep an eye on that. BDMD. Um, that one looks like it could be at its bottom right there. Let's take a look. What is that doing this morning? BDMD. We'll keep an eye on that for next week for sure. BYU and CETX. We did B D B G I. Let's see that one. Oh, that one's in the basement down there. D B G I. Let's see. That doesn't have anything happening yet today, but definitely one to keep an eye on. Way down in the basement and probably going to start setting up. Where's that 20? It's coming down for it. It is at 38, and this is at 18, so it has a little bit of time, but it's setting up down there. EDBL, our good old edible garden. That doesn't seem to be doing much this morning either. Uh, just sitting there, but setting up. I'm telling you, that one's going to be looking good. It's right there. And uh, so, yeah, we're like a day off from there. So keep your eye on EDBL. Um, EGRX, Eagle Pharmaceutical. Whoa, that was a nice dipper. Let me see what that's doing today, EGRX. I was going to say, it looks like it could take a bounce right there. Um, that's the 10th, so it's not saying anything. 67, why is it so crazy looking, EGRX. Yesterday, what is going on? I have to look at this thing again. Um, what's the date here anyway? Oh, okay, because this stopped on like October 2nd on here. That's why it looks so crazy. And this one is definitely yesterday's date all right i'll have to look at this one again it looks like it probably uh delisted or something it stopped on october 3rd that's why i had that big dip and just stopped and the charts were looking different so so i knew something wasn't right eonr this one was setting up i know that let's look at this eonr is it doing anything yet today? No, but keep your eye on that one today, guys, because that one could be a mover right there. LGCB is that linkage, and this is another one that's starting to look pretty decent. Let me see. Um, LC, LGCB. Yeah, this one's starting to try to move. It was, uh, it, it closed, uh, it, yeah, it closed lower than it opened yesterday, but it didn't look bad. Just just a little healthy pullback there and uh, trying to get set up. We'll keep an eye on that LGCB and uh, Mullen. I feel like I'm saying like that LGBT, whatever, Q and all that stuff right there. <laughs> when you say that one, that's an LGCB. It starts off to kind of similar. That's why it's like throws me off every time. So uh, it's almost yeah, LGB. Yeah, very similar, honestly. So there you go. Uh, that's why I, I almost every time I want to say it, I want to say the uh, the other thing or vice versa. So I have to look at the stock ticker every time to make sure I'm saying the stock ticker right. So LGCB, that is what it is right there. And Mullen, let's see what that's doing up a penny. And uh, I'm not so sure this one's ready yet. So we'll have to take a look at Mullen and that one again. It's a it's a crazy one. So got to be careful with mulling uh, uh, i'm not a not a proponent of mulling and uh so but 
if it's going to run, we'll, we'll nail it. Uh, ONCT is way down here. This one's getting set up really nice, ONCT. So uh, what? yesterday it opened at 120 and pulled back. So let me see. It looked... Oh, yeah, there you go. It did pull back. So maybe that's going to be a little dip and rip action. I'll keep an eye on that as it opens today. SLXN, let's see what you're up to this morning, if you're moving around or doing anything, because I remember this was trying to set up. Uh, nothing this morning, but it is down there after them dips. And uh, let's see if that if it's trying to bottom out finally. The 20 is all the way at 63, and this is at 31. So I'll keep my eye on that and see what it wants to do. Um, TTOO, that T2 Biosystems, that's way down because I remember it was in the sixes. After, uh, yeah, this thing had run up and now it's way, way down in the basement. That's a good uh, laptop lowdown right there for sure. And yeah, let's keep an eye on TTOO. I'm familiar with that one. And uh, we'll see when that one wants to get set up. It's uh 20s down at 198 and it's at 150. So TURB we did and UPC. I know we've gone through this recently. And oh, this one, guys, keep your eye on this. It's trying to move. It was moving yesterday. Um, we had just gone over it the other day. I know that. And uh yeah, it did try to move, and it is moving this morning at 26 cents. And it closed yesterday at 24. So it's gapping up and trying to get moving. So that 20 is coming down for it. And 20 is at like 26.2671. So that bad boy could get cruising. And that's one we just recently looked at. So keep your eye on that. SMCI. Let's look at that and see what it's doing this morning. Down 17 cents there. Let's just see. It says... uh. It opened at 46.37, and it's at 46.36. So it's down a penny. It ran up just a hair and came down a little bit there. Let me take a look at it. I think it's going to try to just uh, trade in between this channel right here, between the 20 and 50 at 44.61. Can get up as high as 48. Let it set up right in between there, and then it's going to get bullish. So that 20 and 50 are going to meet and squeeze it up there. Um, it would be perfect for it next week, to be honest. Today, it's just getting there. Um, Monday, it should open up perfect for it. Uh, it is, and Monday is Columbus Day, and we are, the market should be opened, I believe. I don't believe it closes for Columbus Day anymore. It'd be nice. I could use it Monday, but uh, it's whatever, and uh, I believe it is open still. So that is, uh, <clears throat> like I said, SMCI. Watch it bounce around today, and it is probably setting up to get moving for sure. That's what it looks like right here. I'll keep an eye on it today as the uh, – as the 20 starts moving, we'll see what direction, if it's trying to pinch that and actually move it there. So there you go, everybody. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Thank you, everyone. Asian Joe Lee, of course. Thank you for the Joe Lee's jumpers, laptop lowdowns, laptop travel, East Coast Beach Girl, Good Morning, Irish Lucky, Valeria, uh, Scoper 8, Luis Rodriguez, Rebecca, how are you this morning? I hope everybody has a great day. Like I said, the market's super flat. Just be careful holding anything over the uh, weekend. But the Yang is looking good. So uh, it's up 18 cents right now. And again, DJT, two solid ones. It's at 27.59. It's just cruising this morning. So there you go. Um, bam. <laughs> That's all you can say for that one. And uh, boom. There you go for our Friday pre-market. I hope everyone has a wonderful Friday. Trade smart. Lock in those profits. Let me know if you want to see anything. I'll talk to you later, and again, I'll be on all day posting social media stuff and stock tickers, and um, and I'll be looking at crypto for sure and a couple of these other ones. So, yeah, we're going to start. We're now in this bad boy. We've been now in everything lately, and uh, so we're going to continue. And like I said, that Yang, DJT, we're just picking the easy ones that we're, we're real confident with and just know that you're going to now them. So, uh there you go and uh have a great friday everybody let me know if you want to see anybody <laughs> let me know if you want to see anything and i'll talk to everybody later thank you everybody have a great day